Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm gonna show you how to make these Fruity Pebbles ice cream sandwiches. Now, these are absolutely amazing and they're very easy to make. So keep watching and I'll show you step by step how to make these. Before we start making this recipe, look below this video at that subscribe button. If it's red, all you have to do is click on it and it'll turn it gray. Also, if you enjoy what I do here, be sure to hit that like button because I really want to get to 200 likes on this video. Now back to the recipe. So one of the first things I'm going to do for this recipe is prepare the ice cream. Now, I thought about making my own homemade ice cream for this, and it's a very simple thing to do if you want to go that route. I will put a link in the description below as well as one of those cards to one of my easy homemade ice cream recipes so you can make some. Um, it's just really heavy cream, sweet condensed milk, and whatever flavor of your choice. That's as simple as it is. But I saw these uh, both ice creams in the store and I wanted to try them out. This is like a purple ice cream and this is a party cake. I think the colors will go great with our Fruity Pebbles ice cream sandwiches. Now it's best to leave these sit out for a little bit to let them soften up a bit. And I have a large baking tray right here. I covered it with saran wrap just to make things a little easier. I'm gonna put half the tray as one ice cream, half the tray as the other. And then after we harden them up a bit, we'll cut them out into circles. So the first ice cream we have is, it's called purple patanamus. Purple patanamus, oh, I cannot talk. Purple Patonymous, which is mixed berry, strawberry, blueberry, raspberry, ice cream with chocolate crunches. So I'm just gonna take some, scoop it out with my handy dandy scooper here. It is a little soft, which is what I want. And I'm gonna cover about half this baking sheet. Oh. And we're gonna spread it out flat in just a moment. And it should take about half of this container of ice cream. Now, when I said you want your ice cream soft, you want to soft, not completely melt it. Now I'm just going to use the back of a spoon to kind of flatten this out. Now my baking sheet was rather large, so it did take this whole tub of ice cream don't worry, there's a little bit left in there, but I'll take care of that on my own. Now for the next ice cream flavor, we have our party cake. And if you're having problems smashing it down with a spoon or a spatula, you can always go to plan B, which is take some more of this plastic wrap, cover it, and just use your hands, it's actually easier. And you wanna make sure you have it all somewhat even. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as close as possible. Um, it should be about an inch thick. Now just take this, we're gonna put this in our freezer for about an hour or so. So our ice cream is in the freezer, we're letting that harden up. Now we're gonna move on to make our Fruity Pebbles treats. Now we're gonna make those the same way we'd make Rice Krispie treats. So we have a large pot here. I have two tablespoons of butter, which I'm melting down at the moment. Once this melts down, we're gonna add in 10 ounces of our mini marshmallows. All right, so once your marshmallows have melted down, we're just gonna turn off the heat. And you can actually take it off the heat as well, but I'm gonna keep it right here on camera, and we're gonna put in five cups of Fruity Pebble cereal. Just mix that in. Now that our Fruity Pebbles treats are made, I'm just going to bring in another baking sheet. This one's lined with parchment paper. Uh, you can just put it on there, but I'm just trying to make it a little easier on myself. So cover this baking sheet with your new Fruity Pebbles treats. Now just take this, we wanna flatten this out, just run nice and smooth across. We only want it, again, about a half inch in thickness. Now I'm gonna take some more parchment paper and put over top of this and push it down with my hands.
Just because I want it nice and smooth, I'm gonna use a roller to try to make it as flat and even as possible. All right, so I'm gonna let this harden up a bit before I take my cookie cutter and try to cut some out. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes and I don't want this to harden up too much. I'm gonna take my round cookie cutter. You can do this with a round one, a square one. It really doesn't matter. Um, as long as they're all the same size, it'll work out. So we're gonna cut our little shapes and hopefully I didn't let it harden up too much. Good. So there's one. We're just gonna cut this. Helps to kind of wiggle it as you go down. Now with the excess, you're just gonna ball it back up and we'll roll it flat again. And try to get as many of these that we can. And because you roll it out, it kind of compresses these and it doesn't look as good. And I'll show you the difference. So here's one that isn't compressed too much and here's one that is. Uh, you can use this as the bottom piece and then that as the top, make it look better. Now I wouldn't roll it out more than the two times that we did. So any extras you have now, just eat. Before I bring the ice cream out and cut those out, I wanna prepare everything because I have studio lights on and it will melt the ice cream pretty quick. You don't have to work as quickly as I do, but you do have to work somewhat quick. Now I'm gonna take these and turn these over because I want the good side to be showing. Get everything prepared. All right, so I'm just gonna move this aside. So our ice cream has been in the freezer for about an hour. I'm just gonna take off the top film of plastic wrap. And working relatively quickly, I'm gonna use my cookie cutter, same size, and cut out a circle. Now. now come back to our Fruity Pebbles treats, put one in there, push our circle in, and close it up. And that's one right there. Do that with the rest of them and work quick. Now just put these back in the freezer just for a little bit, or you can start eating them right away. Either way, it's up to you. So as you see, we have some more ice cream that we can cut out. I'm gonna make some more of these and bring them over to some friends. I have to make a whole nother batch of the Fruity Pebbles Rice Krispie Treats, um, but it's well worth it. So now it's time for the best part of every video, and that's the taste test. I grabbed one of these ice cream sandwiches that have both flavors of ice cream on it. So we have the party ice cream and we have the little purple ice cream. And I'm gonna bite into this and try to get both flavors and see how it tastes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Good. I do recommend you letting the ice cream harden up more before you try this because you see how the ice cream kind of just kind of squeezes out. That won't happen if you let the ice cream harden up. So do put them in the, uh, the freezer for a bit and let them har harden up and firm up. I did this right after just taking pictures and with the studio lights, it's kind of uh, bright and it melts a lot. So yeah, good point, good tip. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make these Fruity Pebbles ice cream sandwiches. It's a lot of fun making these. So simple, so easy. You can do this with any type of cereal you like, and you can use whatever kind of ice cream you like as well. So I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please hit that like button. Also hit that big red subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, you get new videos all the time. And be sure to check out some of the videos I have all to the side I think you may enjoy. Until then, I'll see you next time. And once this melts down, we're gonna add in our 
little mini, what are these? <laughs> I grabbed one of these uh, 